Where's Rufus? Rise and shine, said Mr. Plinkett. The sun is shining. It is a perfect day for a picnic. Hooray, said Lucy and Sam. Gaga, said Baby. Woof, said Rufus. At breakfast, the Plinketts planned what they would bring. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, said Sam. Fizzy fizz to drink, said Lucy. While they were talking, Rufus was looking out the window. He saw a small gray rain cloud. He wanted to tell the Plinketts about it. Woof, barked Rufus. Hush, Rufus, said Mrs. Plinkett. We can't think with so much noise. But Rufus saw another rain cloud rolling in. Woof, woof, he barked, louder than before. Down, boy, said Mr. Plinkett. When Rufus saw one more rain cloud, he knew it was not a good time for a picnic. Woof, woof, howled Rufus. But he could not get the Plinkets to turn around. After breakfast, when Mr. and Mrs. Plinkett were filling the food basket, Rufus tried to stop them. And when Lucy and Sam were packing their toys, Rufus tried to take the toys away. Finally, the Plinkets were ready to go. Rufus had to think of a new way to keep them inside. So he hid. Here, Rufus called Lucy, but Rufus didn't come. Rufus called Sam, it's time to go. Maybe we should leave without him, said Mr. Plinkett. No, cried Lucy and Sam. A picnic without Rufus would be no fun at all. Rufus was happy to hear that. Sam went to the living room to look for Rufus. He looked behind the bookcase. He looked under the couch. He looked behind the curtains, but he didn't find Rufus. Do you know where Rufus is? Rufus raced into the kitchen. Lucy went there to look for him. She looked under the table. She looked in the closet. She even looked in the refrigerator, but she didn't find Rufus. Do you know where Rufus is? Rufus got to the bathroom just in time to hide. Mrs. Plinkett looked behind the door. She looked in the bathtub. She looked under the sink, but she didn't find Rufus. Do you know where Rufus is? Mr. Plinkett went into the den. He looked under the desk. He looked behind the television. He looked behind the chair, but he didn't find Rufus. Do you know where Rufus is? On the way to baby's room, Rufus passed a window and looked outside. Someday they will thank me for this, he said. Baby toddled into her room. She looked under her crib. She looked into her toy box. She looked behind her giraffe, but she didn't find Rufus. Do you know where Rufus is? Suddenly, there was a crash of thunder. Rufus jumped into Baby's arms. Doggy, said Baby. Good for you, Baby, said Lucy. You found Rufus. Wow, look at all that rain, said Sam, pointing out the window. The Plinkets waited for the rain to stop. When the sun was shining again, they went on their picnic. It's a good thing we didn't leave when we planned, said Mr. Plinkett. We can thank Rufus for that, said Lucy. Woof, woof, barked Rufus. 
he was always glad to help.